Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. Okay, so a lot of you guys have probably remember this video we did in the past with the uh, pain train, Thomas the pain train. But I've ever since I like seen these servo driven robots, I figured you know. We should probably experiment with one of those because I want to do like a larger, maybe one we can ride in, right, Sam? You, you want to do that, don't you? Yeah, eventually. That'd be awesome. But probably really expensive. All right, can you make this thing walk? There we go. Yeah, check that out. So we got this super creepy robot kit. I think we'll... Oh, no, it's going to walk over the, it's walk over the edge. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the programming is a little difficult. We'll talk about that later. We should... Well, actually, we're going to modify these things with flamethrowers, too, if you generally want to know what's going to happen in the video. But first... Wait a second. This is stupid. There's no way. Sam, check this out. What's up? Look at this robot. It says in the directions, fasten the server wheels to upper legs with M35 millimeter screws. This is the only bag in the kit with five millimeter screws. It's five millimeter, right? Yeah. You would assume so. So, try and put this piece on there. Go on. Come on, Mr. Scientist. Yeah, use the screw. You know, this is like the second thing that went wrong in this kit. The first thing was it didn't give me the screws for this either. I had to use like M3 to 12 millimeter. It was supposed to have M310s. I'm pretty sure I have to cut to modify these things. So far, I'm not satisfied with this build. It's missing a lot of actual parts. We're yeah, screws. that won't work. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to use these uh, replacements that I have. Back to the montage. Turn the lights on! It's creepy! <laughs> Check it out! It's on, it's working! But you don't know about that because you programmed it! Whoa, look at it go! Ooh, very spooky! Okay, so... It definitely works! Um... I think it's time for the fun part now. Yeah! Montage! Pumpkin picking! No, not oh. montage! Pumpkin oh. picking! We gotta modify... Actually, it's kind of a montage. Basically, we have to weaponize this thing now, so... Let's go get some pumpkin pictures. I pick one out, Sam. Oh, I think it's that one. I think he's picking out one for you. Yeah, that's my pumpkin. Do you think this one work? Oh, kind of he doesn't like that one. Oh, your pumpkin. Okay, what's this? That's your pumpkin. Uh, that's not gonna work. You can carve it. <laughs> Start the video. Let's go.
Should we probably go back to the shop? Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, I, th I think it's broken. I got a hand to you, Sam. This thing works kind of awful. I didn't build it. Uh, you programmed it. It was supposed to come pre-programmed. Okay. Like this um, one. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be wrap this up. So, here, you take this. I want this one. Bling. Uh, transform. Okay, I think we're probably done with that, actually. So, we did get these robots. Um, both these, uh, they came from Amazon, right? Yes. So, they're both the Amazon kits. This one was for this fantasticular price of how much? Uh, I don't And how much was this one? 150-ish. Okay. So, I guess this is the uncomprehensive, uh, quick super review of these. This one was actually not too bad to assemble. But it's kind of lame walking, if you can kind of see that. We were, we were supposed to use this one in the video, but for some reason it wasn't working yesterday, so I just kind of didn't use it. But hey, it works now, so whatever. The nice thing is this one came with a more English manual. It, it did have some like slightly broken English, but you can kind of figure out what was going on inside the manual. So I didn't really have any problems putting this one together. And it walked right out of the package. Yeah, or... that's the nice thing. I mean, it's made out of cheap, I think this is acrylic or maybe Dalrin, I'm not sure. It's laser cut. It uses metal metal nine gear uh, metal nine gram servos. We did have uh, to upload the code. Yeah, this is Arduino based too, isn't it? Yes. So it's Arduino based. It's tinker friendly. The instructions, like I said, weren't bad. I had no problem really assembling this. It was just kind of chintzy. It feels like a seventh grader's science project. Now this one had nice aluminum arms and everything. Now we did have quite a bit of problems with this. Like the manual was pretty crap. It, it basically just showed you how to basically barely assemble this. It was missing the right hardware for the screws. I think they actually changed the, um, we were looking at this, I think they may have, um, what do you think, they got a thicker plate of aluminum this yeah, is made out of? Yeah, they have a different yeah. cast now. They changed the tolerances and stuff and they didn't really account for that when they gave the hardware for the screws, so I can't really recommend this one too much. Oh, you got something to say about the code, don't you? Yeah. I expected it to come with some walking code, mm -hmm. but it just had a list of how to make it walk forward only that didn't really That's work. really bad. We'll, we'll go in the office and show that. Actually, let's go do that right now. It probably... And plug it in. So you connect, and then you can move legs. That's pretty neat. Is it moving? Uh, you didn't plug it in. So that part's not too bad. Right, so then it. what you have to do is set all the legs in the position you want. Mm -hmm. And then you... Just show me a little bit of the walking code, that's hilarious. And then you keep doing that. How are you supposed to know what that means? Where'd you find so that? You keep doing this. I think on the actual website of the control board. Mm -hmm. And But what I did is I would export this. Yep. And I have all these uh, Word documents of the code. And instead of messing with this stupid GUI, I just went in and I would change the values and timing of the legs. And it was really <laughs> stupid. But this is the one that makes it arch back and wiggle the two front legs. Which one? That one? This whole code. Oh, the whole thing is just for that? Yeah, so you'll okay. see like these are each individual movements. T500 is the time it moves to move number 28 to the 1100 millisecond position, oh, okay. which is the That's same as like servo 10 to the 1700, and then you would do the time in milliseconds. Okay, okay, science nerd. Um, that sounds awful. It, it was let's, bad. Okay. I have, I have okay, all of this, these. Let's just, let's just wrap this up. So this is the original document that was supposed to be the code and mm -hmm. all it has is a go forward that didn't actually work when I put it in. It actually started moving the servos out of position because they weren't calibrated for how it told you to build it. And it tried to break itself. Awesome. Thanks for the support, uh, this company. But more posture continued to update. Thanks. That sounds horrible. Uh, okay, don't buy this. <laughs> Unless you really want to mess with the, the real DIY part of it. So yeah, the coding sucks for this. It was really not friendly at all, unless you can figure out 
uh, Chinese, Japanese. I don't know what it is. I mean, even then, it you had it told you mm -hmm. to program it to walk yourself. <laughs> that sounds and, horrible. But yeah. what's this thing over here? So this is what we started with. And we got these servos from GearBest. They're actually really cool. I've been tinkering them with other projects too. They're just cheap project servos. That was like a waste of servos. But we gave this up because we realized it'd be a lot faster to buy some working spider robots from Amazon. And lo and behold, you had to program it yourself. So probably just take the server controller out here, put it in there, and then you got yourself your own walking robot. Your design. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty much just like an intro to like the walking robotics. I kind of want to build like a life-size one, or maybe not life-size one, but one we can sit on and ride around. That'd be pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah, that's already bigger than a life-size spider. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm kind of horrified this thing came at me at night. So, uh, I think that wraps up this video. If you guys have any more input or feedback about this one, I'd like to get it walking better, because we've seen a lot of videos where it's really cool walking, but there's no real English manual on how to do that. Seems like the more expensive it. ones work better for some reason. Yeah, I wonder why. Anyways, that was fun. Uh, that was a fun Halloween video. Mm. Uh, thicker treat. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. <laughs>